Okay, morning guys. I'm sorry it's been so long of me doing a video, but I have been working in a shop during the day. Um, just for a little while I'm doing that. It's a friend's shop. It's a lovely little second-hand shop. Um, she's away for a little while, so she's asked me to, to work in the shop. So that's why I've not had any videos on. Um, but I thought I'd squeeze one in this morning because um, I don't have to go in until this afternoon. So I'm just going to show you what I've been up to. Um, also a quick tutorial on how to make my little um, pocket wallet um, and um, some little bits and pieces that I found at a car boot. So this is my next um, add-ons add to my Etsy store. So this is on like a bird theme so I thought I'd give you a quick flip through. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the packaging yet or what's going to go with what. But there's probably two or three of them on here. So these are on the bird theme. So these are like little um, pullouts like this with the little birds on. Um, so tea stain paper. I've got some little booklets on here and some little tag books and little tags in like that. You can journal on the back and my little seam binding flowers on there. This is a triple pocket one. So we've got a nice big um, tag at the top, pop that in there, and then we've got this one here, and then I've got a little booklet here, it's a little, another little pull out on here, and then we've got another little one here, look. So this is a quick glimpse of what I've been up to, um, and then I've got some little pocket, this, I'll show you where I got this paper from in a minute. Um, but that's a little book, a little um, envelope. And then here again, I've got some little um, birdie. These are like, you can use them as little tuck spots. And what have we got in here? Okay, so this is a, a little tag book. With my little birdie tags in. Um, so I do ha did have a tutorial on this one. So um, that's lovely. So all my seam binding flowers. And here we go, this is another little journaling one. And they're all done, they've all got the um, gesso on them as well. Then we have a little booklet there. And this one is one of the little pocket books. Some little um, tea stain paper in there to write on. And then that all goes into the little envelope, like so. And then these bits here, I've done another, another one of my little um, wallet journals. And this has got some lovely, um, like, goldy flowers on. And then we've got some lovely tea stain paper and some all sorts of bits in there. So that's a nice little booklet, little wallet journal to pop into your handbag. And then here we are, we have another little journal, this is a paper journal. Um, and again, this is lovely paper, really, really lovely paper. And I've got a little pocket in there, with a little, um, little journaling spot there. So that does up. And then these are four postcards, you don't see, this is all bird themed. So that's not, this is, that's a little... Pocket. So these are the four little postcards which I've actually popped on. So we've got that one, that one, that one and that one. And these are little pockets to pop bits in. We've got new music paper on. These ones I've actually stitched in black thread on these ones. And this is another little pocket here with a little bit here. And then I've got a little um, booklet in there postcard booklet that's just made out of a little bag on there which I've popped into this one and then it's a little pocket a little tuck spot and I've got this little like three little pockets in there so you can pop different things in there and then that's the pocket and then in this one I have another little um, paper bag booklet with a couple of little um, these are little uh, tags in there. And there we go. So there we go. So that's what I've been making at the evenings. 
Um, so that's those bits and pieces. And then, when I went to the car boot, I got these, which are beautiful. Now, these are old Portuguese um, cross-stitch patterns. So, they are... This one was... This is 1955. So, look, they're absolutely stunning. And what I did... I photocopied this paper to make it... Because I don't want to cut it up yet. So, I like to keep it for a little while. <laughs> and then... So, I just photocopied it. And then I used made the, the little booklet out of it. I thought that was really good. So these are absolutely gorgeous. And also this envelope here, I photocopied the paper as well and used it on here. Which is, I think, is it this one? Look at these, they're just absolutely gorgeous. So lovely. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. So let's have a look at this one. It's so delicate. So beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some more photocopying of it and use it in my journals because I think it's just stunning. Until I get the courage up to cut them up. Um, whether that will happen, I don't know. These are just lovely. So I think it's the back of this one. Yes, it's the back of this one that I photocopied um, to make the paper here, which I thought was absolutely stunning. So that's what I've been up to. Um, let's have a look. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to show you quickly how I did this. Now, I was in the shop and I did take some... Um, copy paper with me so I just wanted to make because this is like I did the um, little um, tag book out of one piece of paper so I wanted to do something a little bit bigger um, so what I've done I've used a whole piece of this paper and just folded it up and it's so easy I've taken one piece of paper and I folded it up to the top here Actually, what I might do, let's see, let me just get a piece of this with my tea stain paper. I think you'll probably see it a little bit easier on this. So this is just the tea stain paper, copy paper that I use. So I folded it up. So you leave like about an inch here for the top. Then you fold that down. And then what I did, I just folded it into three. Now you can measure it, or you can just sort of like eyeball it. But I do tend to sort of eyeball things because I'm not very good at measuring. And we just fold it in three. So it's the same as we did the um, little tag book. So you've got three little sections. And then the top piece, what I did, I've got my scissors and just cut down little fold lines like that and then actually first we just bend this top bit down so it just gives it a little bit of a lip on there so it makes this little bit a little bit stronger and what I did the middle one I actually stuck down so let's just get a little bit of glue and then just glue this on. This one I did actually sew. Um, so if you've got the sewing machine, I mean you can, or you can just glue them down. Okay, so then you've got your two pockets. You can actually have, if you didn't want that, you could have three pockets. Or you could have this at the end here. Or you could have three like this. So it depends which way you want to do it. You don't have to do it how I've done it. Um, you can uh, mix them about. So if you wanted to do a few, you could do them all different. So, and on these ones, the little flaps, I just cut the little tiny triangle bit off there like that. Just to give it the little pocket look. The little flat bit there. 
And that also helps when you fold it in, it doesn't ruckle up this bit of the corner of your paper. So there we go. And then what I did, I just stuck this down so you can sew it along here and then sew it up the middle. And then you can just decorate it how you want to. But I just thought if I showed you how to fold it, you could make it out of anything, any paper you like, scrapbook paper, Anything that actually goes with your journal that you're actually making at the moment. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So it's perfect. So what you can do, I shall glue it to show you. So you just glue down the, the little fold lines. Like this. And there. Just use the, the blue stick just for quickness here. But you can sew it down, you can stick it with whatever glue you like. But if you wanted to decorate it first, leave the gluing tool last or the sewing tool last, and then you can just put these bits on. And I've sewed the little music bits onto here and onto the front bit here. And it's just on the birdie thing. So that's it, guys. So that's how quick and easy it is. Again, out of one piece of paper, and it's really effective. And you can just use pop your little tags in there. There we go. Let me find a tag. We got a tag here. So if you have the middle one and you have something that's slightly bigger that won't fit into the pockets, it's perfect because you just fold it over, and then you've got your little pocket there. I thought that was really, really nice and very, very quick. So there we go guys, I can just quick video on what I've been up to before I pop off to work again. So hope you enjoyed that and I will be popping all these little bits on my Etsy store um, in the next couple of days. I'll work out which packages go with what and um, we go. Alright guys, thank you so much. I will um, see you soon and I will try and get another video on if I can. But if not, it's going to be a couple of weeks um, until I get myself sorted out again. Alright guys, thank you. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.